What's up gamers? Uncharted is one of the best action adventure games on PS4 and Nathan Drake is such an awesome character. He has a lot of inspiring qualities that we can all learn from and apply to life. So today I'm going to talk about Nathan Drake's top 5 rules for life. Let's get right into it. Rule number 1. Find your calling, the power of obsession. Our hero of the legendary Uncharted series has a unique and charming character. And what really sets Nathan Drake apart from all the other amazing characters in the game is his tremendous level of obsession. Every time when he's looking at old manuscripts relating to the hints of some mysterious ancient treasure, his eyes would light up. His mind and body would be completely gripped by it as if he's possessed and blocks out everything unrelated to the finding of the treasure. This state of flow or obsession happens to Nate frequently and became a powerful force that compels him towards his journey of adventure. Only by listening to this inner calling, Nathan Drake did not settle for an ordinary contracted job that would only make him a good living, but instead he lived his destiny of a legendary adventurer and treasure hunter that we all play and respect. You might argue that Uncharted is only a game and Nathan Drake is a made up character, but our history shows that all true masters have a high level of obsession in a way and they fulfill their calling with a strong sense of destiny. Writer Robert Greene called this sensation mastery. Every one of us has a unique character and interest and God only knows what truly grips you. So from now on, make it your first priority to find your deepest interest and find a way to somehow express your obsession into a career path or personal development and master your destiny. So how do we find our obsession? These are some simple questions that you can ask yourself. What is it that I can't stop doing and talking about? What would I do to give to the world if money is not a concern? What would I be doing if I only had 6 months to live? Chances are that you should be doing that right now. As we spend most part of our waking hours at work, it would be a tragic waste of the short time we have in this world by working as someone we don't want to be just for making money. Rule number 2. Greatness from small beginnings. Go back to your childhood inclinations. Perhaps the most important motive in Uncharted is Sigparvus Magna. Sigparvus Magna. Yeah. This was also the motto of the great explorer Francis Drake, which means greatness from small beginnings, inscripted on the ring that Nathan Drake was always wearing. Nathan had many unfortunate childhood experiences. His mom was a talented archaeologist and historian but died from a disease at a young age. His father struggled to support him and he ended up in an orphanage. He always got into fights with the other children in the orphanage because of their insults. As a result, he developed a defiant and adventurous personality and eventually ran away from the orphanage. Throughout the following years, he and his brother Sam were determined to complete their mom's unfinished work documenting and investigating leads to Francis Drake's explorations. He became fascinated by history and archaeology and reconnected to his deepest inclination, as if his mother's natural talent and passion were already deep inside him. For true masters in our history, their deepest interest and inclination was very clear to them in childhood. When Albert Einstein was five, his father gave him a compass as a present. He was instantly amazed by the needle which changed direction as he moved the compass. For the rest of his life, all of his experiments and ideas would revolve around the question of hidden forces in the world, and it all started from a small compass. If you want to attain mastery in any field, your first step is to reconnect to the force that sparked an unusual level of curiosity in your childhood. It is already within you and you only need to dig and refine what has been buried inside you all along. Once you have more clarity, it will guide you toward your life's task and the right career path. Then your greatness will also follow. Rule number 3. Jump into the unknown and keep expanding your horizon. Nathan Drake is a natural explorer and adventurer. His footsteps can be found all over the globe. In the holy city of Nepal, snowy mountains in the Himalayas, the fast and endless desert in Arabia, the VIP auction house in Italy, to the active volcano in Madagascar. He dedicated half of his life seeking for clues and locations of lost treasures and never settled in any comfort zone. In real life, of course it would be great if we could travel and explore the world, but most of us just can't afford to travel as much as Nathan Drake. So how do we explore and jump into the unknown? Well, the key lies in our mind. The human mind is essentially free. It can travel anywhere, across time and space. If you keep it confined to your own little box of petty life situations, you only have yourself to blame. So start expanding your mind by reading and learning something of value every day and start saying yes to activities that are outside of your comfort zone. Never stop jumping or the rapidly changing world will quickly swallow you. With your horizons expanding, you will discover your new limits and see more opportunities around you. 
Rule number four, choose the right mentor and absorb their knowledge deeply. Victor Sullivan is an important character in Uncharted. Without him, there would be no Nathan Drake, and Nathan would not be able to pull off all the dangerous adventures alive, even if he was determined to stay on his path of calling. In the early 90s, Sully was hired to steal Francis Drake's ring in Colombia and encountered the rebellious teenage boy Nathan Drake, who was running away with the ring. After saving the boy from Marlowe's men, he offers to look after him and teach him, beginning a lifelong mentorship. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. Throughout the following years, Nate and Sully often got into dangerous situations. Sully raised and protected Nate like his own son, and stood by him even when in trouble. Nathan Drake would end up absorbing and learning everything he could from Sully, including his wit and charm, especially his attitude of not giving a fuck. Christ almighty. <laughs> Just kidding. Eventually, surpassing Sully in every way and truly master the art of a thief. Do not underestimate the importance of finding the right mentor. Life is short and your time for learning and creativity is limited. Without a mentor's guidance, you would waste valuable years learning on your own with a hit and miss result. The right mentor would know your true weakness and challenge you at the right time. Their knowledge and experience would become yours. Your goal is to surpass your mentor in expertise, just like Nathan Drake surpassed Sullivan. Here's the thing, kid. We don't get to choose how we start in this life. Real greatness, it's what you do with the hand you dealt. Rule number five. The real treasure is the journey of adventure itself. Enjoy it to the fullest. Nathan Drake's pursuit of treasure is relentless. He would risk his life doing all those crazy stunts and shootings for whatever treasure he's after. But he had the same fate every time at the end of an adventure. All the so-called treasures would be cursed in a way, and he would have to let them go for the greater good. So the El Dorado had to sink back into the depths of ocean, and the lost city of Shambhala and Iram had to be destroyed. Henry Avery's ship was found at the end, but was set on fire by the burning greed of his rifle. In the end, Nathan never really became a wealthy treasure hunter, and he gained no physical treasure after all. But I think that in the end, Nathan did attain all the real treasures from his journey, because it is the experience that really matters in life. There was a saying, life is either a daring adventure or nothing. We can see the most successful people in this world are the ones most willing to make their lives into a daring adventure. However, most people prefer the security and comfort of a mediocre present than the adventure of becoming the best possible self that they are meant to be. They justify their limited actions by saying that they are just being realistic. They are too caught up with the day-to-day -day routines and useless habitual thoughts and have been busy being busy. They never take the time and courage to design how they want to play the game of life. Some people are obsessed with the material wealth in this world, thinking their happiness are defined by it, so they would try to grab more and more of it with their lives, but they never have enough. Some people only live for the future and always hoping to get to some better place and find the treasure they are hoping to find eventually. But when they get old, they would realize that they had always felt the same emptiness and their lives are coming to an end. So don't let the music die within you. Because the real treasure is hidden right in front of you. It is this moment and you are in it. Be the Nathan Drake of your life and make your adventure worth playing. Enjoy it to the fullest. It's incredible. <sighs> Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something awesome from Nathan Drake. And don't forget to look deep down inside you and listen to the voice that calls for your adventure. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon in the next video.